In this video, we will see sinusoids. Before understanding sinusoids, first of all, let's understand sine function and cosine function. So, first of all, let's draw sine waveform. So, for that, on this x axis, let's say this is theta and on this y axis this is sin theta now the sin function start from this zero point so it will look something like this This is a sine wave form. Now here we can see this maximum value is 1. And here on this negative side, this minimum value on this side is minus 1. So this is how sine wave form looks like the maximum value here will be 1 and the minimum value here will be minus 1. Now let's see how cos theta look like. So for cos theta the waveform will look something like this. This will be cos theta and this on this x axis this will be theta. So let's say let's take the same distance. Now in case of sine function the waveform start from this zero point and for this cosine function the waveform start from here. So it will look something like this. Both sine wave and cosine wave both are same, but there is some phase shift, or we can say here it is starting from zero for sine and for cosine the waveform is starting from this maximum point but both are the same waveform Here also we can say this maximum value will be 1 and here this minimum value will be minus 1. So this is sine wave form and this is cosine wave form. Now for this sine wave form the time period will be from this 0 to this point because here it completes it is one complete cycle. So it is represented by T. It is from here to it is from here to here. And for this cosine, the waveform is starting from here. Let's say we, we will take from here to let's say up to here. So this is the time period. T. So this is sine waveform and this is cosine waveform. Now we will see sinusoids. So before seeing sinusoids, let's take one more waveform. 
ऑफ साइनोसॉइडल वोल्टेज V ऑफ T लेट से दिस इज अइनोसॉइडल वोल्टेज V ऑफ T इज इक्वल टू वी एम साइन टी फर्स्ट वी विल सी साइन एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ T देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी साइन एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ ओमेगा T then we will understand the difference between them so here we are taking sin as a function of t so here on this x axis this will be t here we have to write omega t so v of t is equal to vm sin omega t now let's draw wave form again let's take the same difference so will be something like this the wave form will look something like this so this is how sinusoidal wave voltage wave form looks like now here this will be vm and here this will be minus vm now from here to here we know that this is one complete cycle and it is represented by capital t so this is capital t time period so this will be t this will be t by 2 and here this will be 3 t by 2 this will be 4 or we can write 2 t 4 t by 2 that means it is 2 t then it will be 5 t by 2 then this will be 6 t by 2 that means this is 3 t now this is a wave form we, here we can write figure vm sin omega t as a function of as a function of t now if we want to draw vm sin omega t as a function of omega t so we know that omega is the angular frequency and it is equal to 2 pi f this omega is the angular frequency and its unit is radian per second and here this is the frequency and its unit is hertz also time period t is equal to 1 upon f and it is second also we can write frequency f is equal to 1 upon t hertz now if we replace this t by omega t let's copy this circuit from here let's copy this circuit and let's replace this t by omega t so when we replace this t by omega t then this all the values of this t by 2 t 3 t by 2 all this will change because here we can write omega is equal to 2 pi f and f is equal to 1 upon t so this will be omega is equal to 
2 pi by t so therefore t is equal to 2 pi by omega so we can replace when we put here this will be 0 when we put t is equal to 0 so this will be 0 then when when t is equal to here we can see when t is equal to 0 here this will be 0 so when t is equal to 0 this implies omega t is equal to the value of omega is 2 pi by t 2 pi by t multiplied by this t will be 0 so omega t is equal to 0 so here this omega t is 0 then when t is equal to t by 2 so t by 2 then omega t will be the value of omega is again same 2 pi by t 2 pi by t multiplied by the value of t is t by 2 so this t and this t will get cancelled this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so omega t is equal to pi so here we have to replace this t by 2 by pi this will be pi now next when when t is equal to capital t when t is equal to t this implies omega t is equal to 2 pi by t multiplied by this t value will be capital t so this t and this t will get cancelled so it is 2 pi so here we have to replace this t by 2 pi so similarly for all this is pi this is 2 pi then this will be this will be 3 pi likewise so pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 pi 6 pi so this is how the waveform will look like now the general the general expression for sinusoids is v of t is equal to vm cos omega t plus phi so here this vm is the maximum voltage here we can write it is maximum voltage or amplitude maximum voltage or amplitude this omega is the angular frequency angular frequency in radian per second radian per second then this t is the time in second time in second then this now what is this phi so this phi is the phase shift or we can say it is the phase angle this is the phase angle so this v of t is the sinusoidal voltage now for this sinusoidal voltage we will get all the values for it like maximum voltage or amplitude then angular frequency then time in second then phi is the phase angle now what is this phase angle so let's understand what is phase angle and this is the generalized expression for sinusoids this is called as generalized expression for sinusoids so let's see what is phase shift so let's say this is a sine wave form and here this is a cosine wave form let's say this is cosine wave form it will look something like this 
so this angle is called as phi this is called as phi now when this phi is positive that time it is leading and when it is negative that time it is lagging so this is the phase angle or we can say phase shift it is phase shift so this is about sinusoids thanks for watching in this video we will see sinusoids a sinusoid is a signal that has the form of the sine or cosine function so let's see sine and cosine function let's say this is a sine function The sine wave form will look something like this. So, this is a sine function, and let us say this is a sinusoidal voltage wave form. So, let us say it is V of T. and it is equal to vm sin omega t where vm is the maximum voltage omega is the angular frequency and t is the time so here on this x axis this is time t and here this will be vm that is maximum voltage and here on this negative side this will be the vm and it will be minus or negative and this will be zero now from here this zero to this one complete cycle here this is the one complete cycle after that it is repeating again and again so from here this zero to this point it is t it is called as time period t so if this is t so this will be t by 2 this will be 2t and this will be 3t so it is t by 2 it is t this will be 3 t by 2 then this will be 2t then next it is 5 t by 2 and this will be 7 t by 2 now in case of cosine function the waveform starts from here and in case of sine function this is a sine function so it is starting from this zero so vm sin omega t as a function of t now we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f where omega is the angular frequency this omega is the angular frequency in radian per second this f is the frequency f is the frequency and its unit is hertz or cycles per second also we know that time period t is equal to 1 upon f where this t is the period 
time period and this f is the frequency again now if we substitute this 1 upon t in place of this f then this will be omega is equal to 2 pi 2 pi by t in place of f we can substitute 1 by t here we can say this implies f is equal to 1 upon t now we can also say that t is equal to 2 pi by omega now suppose here on this x axis if we replace this t by omega t that means vm sin omega t as a function of omega t then let's copy this or uh, before that let's write when t is equal to 0 here we can see when t is equal to 0 that time this this implies omega t is equal to 0 when t is equal to t by 2 so when t is equal to capital t by 2 this implies omega t is equal to in place of omega we will substitute 2 pi by t so 2 pi by t and in place of this small t we will substitute capital t by 2 so this t and this t will get cancel this 2 and this 2 will get cancel so omega t is equal to pi next when t is equal to here it is 0 then t by 2 then next is capital t so when t is equal to capital t this implies omega t is equal to in place of this omega we will substitute 2 pi by t so 2 pi by t multiplied with now in place of this small t this will be capital t so this t and this t will get cancelled so therefore omega t is equal to only 2 pi then next is t is equal to 3 t by 2 so 3 t by 2 this implies omega t is equal to in place of omega again we will substitute 2 pi by t 2 pi by t multiplied with small t in place of a small t we will substitute 3 t by 3 t by 2 so it is equal to this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled this t and this t will get cancelled so only it remains 3 pi so likewise for all the other values so let's copy it from here and paste it here and let's replace all the first of all let's replace this t by omega t so when we replace this t by omega t then all the values will change from this x axis So here this will be 0 as it is this will be pi then this will be 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 pi 6 pi and this will be 7 pi. So this is the Vm sin omega t as a function of omega t. Now next is let us see the generalized expression for sinusoids. So the generalized expression, the generalized expression for sinusoid, it is V of t is equal to V m sin omega t plus phi, omega t plus minus phi this positive sign represents that it is leading 
and this negative sign represent that it is lagging and this phi is the phase shift it is called phase shift now let's understand this general expression this vm is the maximum voltage it is the maximum voltage or we can say it is amplitude it is the amplitude this omega is the angular frequency again it is angular frequency when we multiply frequency with 2 pi then we get the angular frequency and its unit is radian per second and this is the time time in second and this is the sinusoidal voltage now let's understand this general expression and what is this phase shift so let's understand this with an example let's say there are three waveforms v1 of t v2 of t and v3 of t so first of all v of t v1 of t so it is let's say vm sin omega t and this v2 of t is vm sin omega t plus phi and vm sin omega t minus phi now here this positive sign represents that it is leading and here this negative sign represents that it is lagging so first of all let's draw v1 of t let's take the equal distance now here first of all we are drawing v1 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t so it will look something like this and this is t or we can take omega t also as a function of omega t and let's say this is v1 of t or here we can write only v of t this is this represents v1 of t is equal to vm sin omega t then next let's draw v2 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t plus phi so this phi plus phi representing that the waveform is starting from here so this this represents v2 of t and this distance is the phi and it is called phase shift this is called phase shift and here this is leading now next let's draw v3 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t minus phi so it is minus phi that means let's say it is starting from this point so it will look something like this and this is v3 of t and this distance is again phi 
which is the phase shift. So, this is all about sinusoids. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share to this video. In this video, we will see sinusoids. So, let's take a equation of sinusoidal voltage V of T is equal to Vm sin omega T. Now, this Vm represents maximum voltage. It is the maximum voltage or amplitude. This sign represent that it is a sine function. It may be cosine function too. The difference between sine and cosine is their starting point. This omega is the angular frequency. It is the angular frequency and its unit is radian per second. This t is the time in second. So, this is a sinusoidal voltage equation. Now, if we draw this, then it will look something like this. This is V of t. Now, here if we take t, then this will be a Vm sin omega t as a function of t. Now, the starting point of sine wave is this from 0. Now, from this 0 to this capital T, this will be one complete cycle and this capital T is called period. After this one complete cycle, it is repeating again and again. So, it is a periodic waveform. Now, here this will be T by 2. This will be 3 t by 3 t by 2 and this will be 2 t and then this will be this is 1 1 by 2 this is 2 by 2 3 by 2 4 by 2 then 5 by 2 5 t by 2 this is a sketch of Vm sin omega t as a function of t. Now, when Vm sin omega t that is this Vm sin omega t as a function of omega t on this x axis, when this x axis is omega t, then that time again let us copy this and paste it here. So, when we replace this t by omega t, then all these values will change. So, let us change this. Now, here we can write when, when t is equal to 0, this implies omega t is equal to now if we substitute t is equal to 0 that time this will be 0. So, here we can substitute 0. Then next when this t is equal to t by 2. So, before this we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency this omega is the angular frequency in radian per second and this f is the frequency in hertz. So, also 
t is equal to that is time period is equal to 1 upon f. So, if we substitute it here, so it will be we can substitute it like this f is equal to 1 upon t. So, therefore, omega is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi by t. So, when t is equal to t by 2, here we can see when t is equal to t by 2, this implies omega t is equal to. Now, in place of omega, we can substitute 2 pi by t. So, 2 pi by t multiplied with in place of this small t, we can substitute capital T by 2. So, this t and this t will get cancelled, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So, it will be only pi. So, here we can substitute pi. So, likewise, this will be 2 pi, this will be 3 pi, 4 pi and 5 pi. We can also verify our answer. Here in place of this t is equal to when, when t is equal to capital T, when t is equal to capital T, this implies omega t is equal to, in place of omega we can substitute 2 pi by capital T. 2 pi by capital T multiplied with, in place of small t we can substitute capital T. So, this t and this t will get cancelled. So, what's remain? Only 2 pi. So, here we can see it is 2 pi. Now, if we solve further, so it will be like 3 pi, 4 pi and 5 pi. So, this is Vm sin omega t as a function of omega t. Now, V of t is equal to Vm sin omega t plus phi. Now, what is this omega t plus phi? So, again, if we copy it from here, so what is this plus phi? So, this plus phi represent phase shift or phase angle. So, when it is positive, that times it will shift left when phi is positive, when phi is or here we can write like this, when phi is positive, so this waveform will sh shift leftward. So, it will be something like this, instead of shifting the whole waveform, we can change this just for understanding purpose, we can replace this line. It will be something like this. Now, this distance, how much the wave is shifted is called phi. It is a phase shift or we can say it is phase angle. It is represented by this phi and when this phase angle is negative that time the waveform will shift rightward. Also remember, when this is positive, that means it is, this positive sign represent that it is leading. And when it is negative, that time it represents that it is lagging. So, this is called phase angle. Also remember that the sinusoids can be also represented by V of t is equal to V m cos omega t, cos omega t plus phi or plus minus phi. So, this what is this cos? The difference between cos and sin is that the starting point of sin is from 0 and the starting point of this cos is from here, it will be something like this, it will look something like this. Also here, if there is a phase shift, then the waveform will be different. So, this is about sinusoids. If you understand this, 
then please don't forget to share to this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching in this video we will see how we can add two sinusoids so let's say a cos omega t plus b sin omega t is equal to so they have different amplitude here we can see here the amplitude is a and here the amplitude is b so it will be c cos omega t minus theta now this c is here we can write where c is equal to under root of a square plus b square and this theta is equal to 10 inverse of 10 inverse of b by a so this is how we can add sinusoids let's understand this by an example so let's take example let's say 3 cos omega t minus 4 sin omega t so we have to find its equivalent its addition so it will be here we can write solution so it will be 3 cos omega t minus 4 sin omega t so it will be c cos omega t minus theta where this c is equal to where c is equal to under root of 3 square plus 4 square so if we solve this so it will be 5 so c is equal to 5 and this theta is equal to theta is equal to 10 inverse of this minus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 so this will be 10 inverse of minus 4 divided by 3 so it is minus 53.13 minus 53.13 degree so let's substitute it here so therefore c cos omega t minus 4 sin omega t is equal to now in place of this c we can substitute 5 cos omega t then minus now here it is minus here also it is minus so minus minus plus and 53.13 53.13 so this is how we can add two sinusoids thanks for watching and don't forget to share to this video in this video we will see graphical representation of sinusoids so first of all let's draw sinusoids let's assume this is v of t and this is omega t now let's draw first of all sin function so it will be something like this this is just for a reference so it will be something like this
and let's say it have a function of vm sin omega t this is sine function because it is starting from this zero point now let's draw a cosine function so the cosine function will start from here so it will look something like this So this is Vm cos omega t. This is cosine function and this is sine function. And this will be Vm that is maximum voltage and this is minus Vm that is minus Vm maximum voltage in the negative direction. So these are the two sinusoidal voltages. Now we want to see graphical representation of sinusoids. So from these two functions, we can see the relationship between sine and cosine. So if this is plus cos omega t, from here, here we can see when this v of t is 0, that time this cosine function is maximum and here the difference between these two sine and cosine is this will be 90 degree so it will be in this direction so this is plus sine omega t so this will be minus sin omega t and this will be minus cos omega t this is minus sin omega t now let's understand this by an example so let's take example if we want to add suppose 3 cos omega t minus 4 sin omega t we want to find this by using this graphical representation of sinusoids so first of all solution it will be something like this this is plus cos omega t and this is this is plus sin omega t now this will be minus sin omega t and this will be minus cos omega t and here this is 0 so first we want to draw 3 cos omega t so it is positive so let's say this is 1 2 and this is 3 1 2 and 3 so this is 3 here we can write this is 3 cos omega t then minus 4 sin omega t so in this direction it is positive 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 and 3 this is in positive direction and in negative direction it will be minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so minus 1 minus 2 and this is minus 3 this is minus 4 and we want minus 4 sin omega t so up to this this will be here we can write this is minus 4 sin omega t now we want resultant for this so we have to draw parallel line so this will be the resultant we draw it from here and this will be 
we can find it by using graphical method or we can use this formula we know that a cos omega t plus b sin omega t is equal to c cos omega t minus theta where where c is equal to under root of a square plus b square and theta is equal to tan inverse of minus not minus only b by a now let's check our answer so it will be now here in place of a it is this value so let's copy it from here so this will be 3 cos omega t minus 4 sin omega t it is equal to c now in place of c this will be under root of a square plus b square so this will be 3 square plus 4 square then cos omega t minus in place of theta this will be tan inverse of b by a so this will be tan inverse of b in place of b we can substitute minus 4 divided by 3 so it is equal to so this will be 3 square plus 4 square so under root of 3 square plus 4 square it is 5 cos omega t minus this will be 10 inverse of so it is 10 inverse of minus 4 by 3 so it is minus 53.13 so minus minus this will be plus 53.13 so this is the resultant of this 2 5 cos omega t plus 53 53.13 also here we can see this is 180 degree the difference between this plus sin omega t and minus sin omega t is 180 degree so this is about graphical representation of sinusoids thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel In this video we will see sinusoidal function by its graphical representation. So let's understand this by an example. Let's take v of t is equal to vm cos omega t plus phi where this v of t is the sinusoidal voltage, vm is the amplitude, this is the amplitude or maximum voltage maximum voltage this cos is the function omega is the angular frequency it is angular frequency in radian per second this t is the time in second time in second and this phi is the phase angle it is the phase angle and this represents sinusoidal voltage we have to represent it by graphical representation so in graphical representation we know that the graph will look something like this it is positive cos omega t and this is negative sin omega t and this direction this direction is the leading direction it is plus phi and this direction is the lagging direction it is minus phi here we can write this is 
leading and this is lagging now let's understand this by an example so let's take a example phi u v of t is equal to phi u cos 40t plus 20 so solution for this will be here we can see amplitude amplitude is equal to phi u phi u volts and this angular frequency angular frequency is equal to omega is equal to 40 radian per second and next is this is phase angle so phase angle is equal to phi is equal to it is 20 degree now from these values we can also find frequency frequency is equal to f and we know that omega is equal to we know that since omega is equal to 2 pi f so f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi omega is equal to 2 pi f so therefore f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi omega divided by 2 pi the value of omega is 40 and it is divided by 2 pi so 40 divided by 2 pi this will be Six point three six, six point three six, and the unit of frequency is hertz or cycles per second. Cycles per second. We can also find time period. Time period is equal to t is equal to one upon f. So if we divide one by Six point three six. Then this will be. We can write one upon answer. So it is zero point one five seven. Zero point one five seven, and the unit of this time period is second. So now we can represent this sinusoidal function by its graphical representation. so again let's draw the graph so on this x axis this is plus cos omega t and on this y axis this is plus sin omega t now here here we can see the amplitude is 5 volt so let's draw a circle of radius phi u so let's say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is phi u so the circle will be something like this and this radius is its radius is phi u phi u volt then the angle here we can see the phase angle is 20 degree so from here we have to draw 20 degree so from here to this will be 20 degree the value of this phi is here we can write phi is equal to 20 degree this is the phase angle this is phase angle this is amplitude 
दिस इज एम्पलीट्यूड एंड इट इज रोटेट इन इन काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो इट विल बी रोटेटिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज एम्पलीट्यूड देन फेज एंगल देन एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी सो एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फोर्टी रेडियन पर सेकंड दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी वी कैन फाइंड फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड देन फ्रॉम फ्रिक्वेंसी वी कैन फाइंड टाइम पीरियड सो टाइम पीरियड इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव वन फाइव सेवन सेकेंड दैट मीन्स इट विल कम्प्लीट दिस वन कम्प्लीट इट विल कम्प्लीट दिस वन साइकल इन जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन सेकेंड सो दिस इज द टाइम पीरियड so this is how we can represent sinusoidal function by graphical representation thanks for watching in this video we will see an example of sinusoids to find the amplitude phase period and frequency of the sinusoid the equation is v of t is equal to 12 cos 50t plus 10 degree so this is the expression for sinusoidal voltage so let's copy it so first of all we will compare this with standard equation so it is v of t is equal to v of t is equal to vm cos omega t plus phi so here we can see vm is equal to vm is the amplitude so amplitude so amplitude is equal to here we can see it is vm is equal to 12 and the unit of this amplitude is volts now next is omega so omega is the angular frequency angular frequency and it is equal to here we can see omega is equal to 50 radian per second then next is phi so phi is the phase angle phi is phase angle and it is equal to 10 degree then next in this question next we have to find amplitude then phase angle then period then frequency so we have to find the frequency also so the formula to calculate frequency is f is equal to 2 pi by omega or we can say we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f so omega divided by 2 pi this will be the formula to calculate frequency the value of omega is 50 divided by 2 pi so 50 divided by 2 pi is 50 divided by 2 pi so it is 7.95 7.95 and the unit of frequency is hertz then next is time period and it is equal to the formula to calculate time period is the inverse of this it is 2 pi by omega so 2 pi by omega that means 2 pi divided by 50 so it is 0.125 0.125 and its unit is second so this is how we can find amplitude angular frequency phase angle frequency and period thanks for watching in this video we will see an example on sinusoids to calculate the phase angle between v1 and v2 and also state which sinusoid is leading solution first of all we will write what is given v1 is equal to minus 10 cos omega t plus 50 degree 
ओमेगा टी प्लस फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड वी टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व साइन ओमेगा टी माइनस टेन डिग्री ओमेगा टी माइनस टेन डिग्री नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस माइनस कॉस इन टू प्लस कॉस एंड हेयर ऑल्सो फॉर दिस वी टू वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस साइन इन टू को साइन सो वी नो दैट फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ on this horizontal axis this x axis this is plus cos omega t and this vertical axis here this is plus sin omega t and here this angle is 90 degree now we want to convert this minus cos so here on this side this is plus cos omega t and on this side it is minus cos omega t and here on this side this is minus sin omega t now we want to convert this minus cos into plus cos omega t so here we can see the phasor rotates in counter clockwise or anti clockwise direction so here we can write direction of rotation direction of rotation that means if we want to convert this sign into cos but here we want to convert first we will convert this minus cos into plus cos so if we go from here to here then the angle is 180 degree so that means and we are going in opposite direction of rotation so that means it is minus 180 degree minus 180 degree we have to add minus 180 degree now we can also go from here to here like this now the direction of rotation is like this counter clockwise so this will be positive that is plus 180 degree so we can either add minus 180 degree in this or we can add plus 180 degree in this to get plus cos omega t let's understand this by writing the formula so it will be minus cos omega t then minus 180 degree is equal to cos omega t cos omega t so this is one formula we need we can also use this formula minus cos omega t plus 180 degree is equal to cos omega t both are correct now next we have to convert this sin into cos so we have to convert this sin into cos so we will rotate in this direction and this is the opposite to this direction of rotation and the angle between this is minus 90 degree and we want to convert this sin to cos so the formula will be cos omega t minus 90 degree cos omega t minus 90 degree is equal to sin omega t if we add this minus 90 degree to this cos omega t then we get sin omega t and we have here sin omega t and we want to convert this into cosine form that means if we add minus 90 degree to here then it will be converted into cosine and here if we add minus 180 degree then this minus will be turn into plus so again let's copy it
and here we will make a square on this because we want to use this formula also. So, here for v1 this will be v1 is equal to now we will change this minus to plus and this 10 as it is this 10 is the amplitude. So, 10 cos omega t plus 150 not 150 only 50 50 degree and here we have to add minus 180 degree. So, minus 180 degree. Now, let us simplify it. So, V1 is equal to 10 cos omega t and this will be minus 130 degree. So, minus 130 degree. So, let us say this is equation number 1. Now, next V2 is equal to V2 is equal to 12. Now, in place of this sign, we have to replace it by cos omega t minus 10 degree. Now, since we change this sign to cos, then here we have to add minus 90 degree to it. So, we have to add minus 90 degree. So, therefore, V2 is equal to 12 cos omega t and this minus minus this will be minus 100 degree minus 100 degree. So, this is equation number 2. Now, we got V1 and V2 in cosine form. So, now let us draw it on this graph. So, here this is plus cos omega t. Again, this is minus cos omega t minus not minus it is plus sin omega t it is plus sin omega t and this is minus cos omega t and here this is minus sin omega t. Now, let us draw V1 first the amplitude of V1 is 10 and the angle is minus 130 degree with reference to cos. So, here this is cos and this is 90 degree. So, here somewhere here this will be the angle of minus 130 degree and this is V1. Now, next is V2 and also remember the amplitude is 10. So, here the amplitude is 10. Now, to draw V2, the amplitude is 12 and the angle is minus 100. So, here the angle will be somewhere here and it is V2. The amplitude is 12 for this V2. Now, here we can see the angle between the angle difference between V1 and V2 is 30 degree. So, and also here we can see the phasor rotates in counterclockwise direction that is in this direction they are rotating like this. So, V2 is ahead of V1. So, we can say V2 is leading V2 is leading V1 by the difference is 30 degree. 30 degree because from here to here this angle is minus 100 degree. Here we can see the angle is minus 100 degree. So, the difference between V1 and V2 is 30 degree. So, here we can write V2 is leading V1 by 30 degree. So, what is the question? The question is calculate the phase angle between V1 and V2. So, the phase angle between them is 30 degree and state which sinusoid is leading. So, here we can see V2 is leading V1 by 30 degree. So, this is the final answer. 
if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this with your friends thanks for watching in this video we will see an example on sinusoids question find the phase angle between i1 and i2 also does i1 lead or lag i2 solution first of all we will write what is given i1 is equal to minus 4 sin 377t plus 25 degree and i2 is equal to 5 cos 377t minus 40 degree now here this sinusoidal current is in this minus sign form so we have to convert this minus sign into positive cosine and here this i2 is already in plus cos so just we have to convert this i1 into positive cosine form so to convert this let's go to the basics again so it is positive cos omega t and this is positive sin omega t this is minus cos omega t and this is positive sin omega t so this will be negative sin omega t now we want to convert this minus sin into this cos so if we move from here to here then we have to add 90 degree because the angle between this minus sin omega t and this plus cos omega t is 90 degree and the direction of rotation direction of rotation is counterclockwise or anticlockwise so therefore the formula will be something like this cos omega t plus 90 degree is equal to minus sin omega t so again let's copy this from here now let's convert this i1 so i1 is equal to now in place of this minus sign we will substitute only cos so this 4 as it is and here in place of this si minus sign this will be cos this 377 t plus 25 degree as it is but we have to add this 90 degree so here this will be plus 90 degree now let's simplify it so i1 is equal to 4 cos 377 t this 377 is angular frequency that is omega now this will be plus and this will be 115 115 degree let's say this is equation number one now next is i2 so i2 is equal to phi u cos 377t minus 40 degree let's say this is equation number two we don't need to change this i2 because it is already in positive cos plus cosine form so we don't need to change this now let's draw graph this is plus cos omega t this is minus cos omega t this is plus sin omega t and this is minus sin omega t now the amplitude of i1 is 4 and the angle is 
वन वन फाइव डिग्री सो दिस इज नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड वन वन फाइव विल बी समवेयर हेयर एंड द एम्पलीट्यूड इज फोर सो दिस इज फोर एंड दिस इज आई वन एंड द एंगल इज वन वन फाइव डिग्री देन नेक्स्ट इज आई टू सो द आई टू एम्पलीट्यूड इज फाइव एंड द एंगल इज माइनस फोर्टी डिग्री सो इट इज विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस कॉस ऑल्सो दिस आई वन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस प्लस कॉस ओ मेगा टी सो टू ड्रॉ आई टू द एंगल विल बी माइनस फोर्टी डिग्री विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस कॉस ओ मेगा टी सो इट विल बी समवेयर हेयर एंड द एम्पलीट्यूड विल बी बिगर देन दिस आई वन बिकॉज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ दिस आई टू इज फाइव एंड दिस इज आई टू द एंगल इज माइनस फोर्टी डिग्री नाउ हेयर वी कैन क्लियरली सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ फेजर इज काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज हेयर वी कैन राइट डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन इज काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी दिस आई वन इज आई हेड ऑफ आई टू सो वी कैन राइट आई वन लीड्स आई टू बाय नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस आई वन एंड आई टू द एंगल डिफरेंस इज इट विल बी दिस वन वन फाइव देन प्लस नाउ हेयर दिस इज एक्चुअली फोर्टी डिग्री प्लस फोर्टी डिग्री सो इट इज फोर्टी बिकॉज यू हैव टू एड दिस वन वन फाइव डिग्री एंड दिस फोर्टी डिग्री सो दिस मच विल बी द टोटल एंगल सो इट इज वन वन इट इज वन फाइव फाइव सो हेयर वी कैन राइट आई वन लीड्स आई टू बाय वन फाइव फाइव डिग्री सो दिस वन फाइव फाइव डिग्री इज द फेज एंगल वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द फेज एंगल बिटवीन आई वन एंड आई टू एंड डज आई वन लीड और लैग आई टू सो दिस इज द एंसर आई वन लीड्स आई टू बाय वन फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस वन फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री इज द फेज एंगल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल